Now in this video we are going to talk about a very important topic and it's based on cryptography and specifically symmetric key cryptography. So the name of this topic is block ciphers and stream ciphers. So what are they? Both of them are basically the members of a uh, symmetric key algorithm family. And what they do is they will convert the plain text into the cipher text. So let's discuss both of these ciphers one by one. So let's talk about block cipher first. Now, what is block cipher going to do? Block cipher is going to divide the message into smaller chunks. Okay, fixed size chunks. And then they are going to be encrypted individually using the same key. Because since it is symmetric key algorithm, so only one key is going to be used, right? So that is how it is going to work. And during encryption, plain text is going to be converted into ciphertext, right? And eventually, when the encryption is done, you will combine the individual ciphertext blocks. This is how block ciphers work. Now, block ciphers have a lot of modes. You have ECB, you have CBC, you have CFB, you have OCB, and you have CTR. So this is a topic for another video, but just wanted to let you know that these are the modes. Now let's talk about the different versions. One is DES, which is known as Data Encryption Standard, which is a which is quite a popular protocol. But then because it was using a small key, it was using a 56-bit key they had to come up with new protocols, new algorithms. So after DES, triple DES was introduced and then AES was introduced. Again, these are topics for some other video, right? Now let's talk about stream cipher. So stream cipher is going to take your message. It's like a continuous message and you're going to encrypt as it is. Okay, you're not going to break it into smaller chunks of data you have the message you have a key as big as the message and if the key is not as big as the message you are either going to add something called a nonce or an initialization vector and you are going to encrypt the message so when you use this type of cryptographic algorithm stream cipher you are less likely to make mistakes because the message is continuous. Stream cipher is very quick in converting your plain text into cipher text. 